Life in Enderal can be quite tough. Heavy armor provides that additional support we might need for dangerously close encounters, and is best suited for a more defensive combat style. Here an overview of heavy armor sets and their characteristics, without spoiling their locations. The Rock Catcher is the first heavy set we find. A Rock Catcher is, so to say, a beginner warrior, and it refers to one of the first quests in Nerim, where we have to block rat holes with stones, and a similar situation happening at the former coast of Enderal. The set is composed of skin, called glance, grasp, and silent step. Despite its name, the Silent Step does not provide an improvement to Sneak. This and other rogue abilities like Archery and Alchemy are only found in Light Armors. The Rack Catcher is of great help in close fighting. An interesting enchantment found on the skin reinforces all melee damage, which means both one-handed and two-handed weapons. The set of Selna takes his name from the first true chest of the Holy Order and leader of the expedition to find Enderal as described in the path. The set is made of five parts, Bastion, then Tail, Fist, March and Wings, a cape that provides an improvement to stamina. All five parts worn together also grant a fourth bonus. With similar but better enchantments and defense, Selna's armor is a direct level up from the Rack Catcher, and a fierce looking set for the aspiring warrior. The Wandering Mage is the first heavy armor set for mages. His pieces are the Soul, Shadow, Hand and Echo, with enchantments helping all schools of magic. The benefits of a Wandering Mage are comparable to the set of a Tribunal, the best light armor set for mages, plus an increase to enchanting, handy for fast malice builds. Its fair bonus is something unique to this set, and helps both heavy and light armor. The set of the Fallen is the third heavy armor set for warriors. The set is made of Shroud, Mask, Close and Echo, with better versions of the enchantments seen on previous warrior sets.
The Fallen is a direct upgrade from the set of Selna. And additionally we get some small but welcome improvements to handicraft and resistance to magical damage. The set of Inodan is named after the seat of Elightborn, the island that is the residence. It is the most powerful armor set for mages, and it can only be crafted. Like the set of Selna, it's composed of five parts, Inodan's Legacy, Watching Eye, Judging Hand, Traces and Wings. This is again a cape which contributes enchantments and bonus. The set of Inodan has everything a mage needs, plus resistance to everything, and improvements to melee damage and carrying capacity, unique for mage armors. The fourth bonus inflicts to an enemy an amount of damage equal to the health regained with Well of Life, a talent from the Thaumatur's tree. The Skarag set takes its name from the tribes living on the remote Skarag Islands, south of Artwent. The meaning of the word Skarag is bones, as we see in the style of the four pieces, cuirass, helmet, gauntlets and shoes. The Skarag parallels and improves the set of the Fallen, while also adding stamina regeneration. The set favors one-handed combat, but its third bonus increases also two-handed damage. The set of the Skybreaker is the strongest armor set for warriors, and as such it can only be crafted. Just as for the other two crafted sets, a handicraft skill of at least 8 is needed to build all pieces. Bulwark, Vintail, Fists and Wings. For its characteristics, the Skybreaker is comparable to the set of Inodan. Its third bonus doubles the damage dealt by Iron Maiden, a talent in the Keeper Memory Tree. This and the Light Magic improvement make it the perfect armor for a Seraph or a Holy Warrior build. Thanks for watching and walk blessed.